So if you've been following this YouTube channel for a while, you probably know that I like filming action sports like skateboarding, scootering, pretty much anything else I can find, especially with a fisheye, and you might as well. But what if you wanna make quicker content for social media, say like for Instagram or TikTok. Then you might wanna check out some lenses like the 14 millimeter fisheye lens from Moment. Let's check it out and see if it's the right fit for you for your social media content. Hey there, welcome back to my camera collection. Merry Thanksgiving, everybody. I got my Christmas tree up a little early. It's not even December yet as of recording this video. Hopefully everybody had a great Thanksgiving and everything. Also want to mention, thank you everybody for 3,000 subscribers. I know that's not a crazy amount of subscribers, but this channel has definitely grown a lot faster than I expected it to. I barely hit 1,000 subscribers at the beginning of this year. I think January 3rd, if I remember right, I hit 1,000 subscribers. It's crazy to gain 2,000 more subscribers in one year. So thank you everybody out there. But if you are new around here, uh, this channel is all about checking out old school retro camcorders along with checking out accessories for your cameras and phones and stuff like this here lens from Moment. So if you're into that kind of thing, maybe consider subscribing. Today we'll be checking out this lens here by Moment. I'll tell you a little bit about their company and everything that they make. We'll go over pretty much all the lenses that they currently make, what phones they are compatible with. Along with that, we'll go over some of the example footage and kind of give you some different scenarios that you can use this fisheye with and kind of give you my overall opinion going over the build quality and all that kind of stuff. And before we get started, I want to thank Moment for sending this out to me. I really appreciate it. Let's get into today's video. So the whole reason I messaged Moment is because I think that for anybody out there who likes filming, say with like a VX1000, Sony VX1000, a 2000, or any just kind of old video camera, out there and they like to make like maybe skate videos or just like the way that like old camcorders look with fish eyes. They just enjoy filming with fish eyes. But maybe you wanna make social media content and your wide angle lens on your phone maybe isn't wide enough or doesn't really give you that fisheye look to it. It's a wide angle, but it's not really fisheye. If you've been looking for some kind of a sturdy, well-made fisheye for your phone, then this one might be a great option. What Moment is, is a phone lens company or a phone accessory company. So they make all these different kinds of lenses for like, if you wanna make, do like filmmaking or something on your phone or like YouTube videos on your phone, they make all different kinds of lenses and they make different kinds of phone cases as well along with different kinds of uh, mounting systems like tripods and gimbals and microphones and lights and all that kind of stuff, along with a few different like uh, DSLRs and mirrorless cameras they, they have on their website. I'll go over the lenses that they all make currently. And they have a f uh, two different lines of lenses. They have a T-series line, which is their newest line, and they have an M-series line, which is their more outdated line, I guess. <laughs> I guess for right now they, the M series is kind of their more budget friendly ones. Uh, they don't have as high quality or uh, high build quality to them. And their T series line is much more updated and their build quality is a lot better. So as for their T series line, we'll go over. They do have a 58 millimeter telephoto lens. They also have a 1.33 X anamorphic lens. You can get two different lenses on those. There's one that has a gold flare and there's one that has a blue flare. So like when sunlight hits it or light hits it, it'll kind of give like a, a flare in the lens and you can choose if you want like a blue one or a gold one. So kind of cool if you can choose between those two. Along with that, they do have a 10X macro lens. So if you want to do uh, macro photography or even macro videography, you can do that. So if you want to take uh, close up pictures of like flowers or bugs or anything like that, they have an 18 millimeter wide angle lens. So if you don't really want a fisheye lens, but you need something that's a little bit wider than maybe like what your phone can do. The 18 millimeter wide angle lens will definitely help in that department. Not too wide, but not too shallow, just kind of right in the middle. And then they obviously have the 14 millimeter fisheye lens. And the last one on the T-series line is a 1.55X anamorphic lens. So it's a little bit more narrow of a uh, field of view than the 1.33X anamorphic lens. And that one you can also do a gold flare or a blue flare as well. Technically the T-series is updated versions of the M series. So a lot of these lenses are the same, but they don't have as good of build quality. And there's a few different ones in there as well, but they do have a 18 millimeter wide angle lens. And this thing looks kind of 
chunky like this is kind of a, a big lens along with that they have a 75 millimeter macro lens so that thing probably uh, zooms in pretty far and you have a 1.33 x anamorphic lens and you can still do the gold or blue flare on that one a 10x macro lens the pre-version of the t-series version of that they also have a 14 millimeter fisheye lens for the m series as well now the difference between those two is the m series 14 millimeter fisheye lens is a 120 degree field of view and the t-series 14 millimeter fisheye lens is a 200 degree field of view so it's much wider than the M series. And they have a 15 millimeter fisheye lens on it. And I think that one's technically a super fisheye. This one seems, at least on their like product photos, they have like, you can swipe through and they have a, a video at the end on their website of like some pictures and stuff that have been taken with the 15 millimeter. And to me, it almost seems wider than the 14 millimeter T series fisheye. On their website, it says that it's 170 degree uh, field of view on that. So I'm not really sure. If you are wanting to film like action sports or something with your phone i definitely recommend filming with the 15 millimeter m series fisheye or the 15 millimeter t series fisheye i don't think the 14 millimeter fisheye on the m series would be uh, wide enough and the last one on the m series line is the 1.55 x anamorphic lens and this one only has a gold flare option now as for the phones that these are compatible with or i guess phones that they make phone cases for starting off with the iphone they have some cases for the iPhone 7 all the way up through the newest version of the iPhone 15. All those lines of phones that Apple makes. So pretty much any kind of iPhone that you have will, you can definitely find a case that will fit for that. Um, I didn't really see any options for the iPhone 11 though. So um, I could be wrong on that. Along with that, they do make some phone cases for the Google Pixel line. They make cases for the Google Pixel 3 all the way up through the Google Pixel 8. So if you have any of those Google Pixel phones, you can definitely find a phone case that will work for those and you can definitely get some different looking shots with these lenses. Now the last phone company that they make lenses for is Samsung. They do have the Galaxy S21, Samsung Note 10 Plus, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and the Samsung S23 Ultra. So four phones that they make uh, the phone cases for. And I don't know if there's different versions of those as well. Let's open up the little bag here. I love this little bag. I like it because it's like, it, it protects the lens. It's nice because it's a fairly sized lens. Um, you get a nice little lens cap on here and it's kind of hard to take off until you have it attached to the phone case. But one thing that I don't like is, um, I wish there was a lens cap on the backside here because even though you do have it in this little carrying bag here, it still seems like it kind of gets dusty and stuff. And when you're recording and light hits the lens, you can and still see dust particles and stuff like that on there. So yeah, it would be nice if they had a, a little lens cap on the back here. I don't know if the drop mount is supposed to sit over the 1X camera or the 0.5X camera. I'll show some examples on the screen, but uh, I have a few clips that I filmed of me recording while I was scootering, and it was me comparing the 0.5X camera and then having the fisheye lens over the 1X camera. When I had the fisheye lens over the 1X camera, it didn't really seem like it was very much wider. I think like the outside of the, the frame was a little bit wider, like some of the trees you could see were more in frame than when I just used the 0.5X uh, camera on the iPhone. It looks a little bit more crisp that way, I guess, but um, if you flip the drop lens mount um, to the 0.5X and you put the fisheye on it, man, it makes the, the video like almost just a circle. And so you kind of have to zoom in, I would say to about a 0.9X and you can kind of crop out the vignetta on the outside or you can kind of keep it to kind of give it that old school camcorder uh, look when they run the fish eyes. So you, you can kind of cut that out if you want, or you can have it so that it has that retro vignetta look like old camcorders. And you can, you can adjust it exactly how you want. But that's the way that I found that it looks great with putting the fish eye 
over the 0.5x lens on the iPhone. Now, if you know anything about camcorders, and especially filming action sports, say like skateboarding with a fisheye, uh, you always wanna turn the stabilization off on your camcorder because the vignetta, like I said, you'll see like it, like the lens almost looks like it moves around and stuff, like it looks super shaky. So like on camcorders, you always turn the stabilization off if you run a fisheye. Well, it's the same case with this, um, except for, at least for the iPhone 13, you can't go into the settings and turn the stabilization on or off. I was sitting there digging around and I didn't know if Moment had a app or anything that they made. So I looked up on YouTube and stuff and found that they do make an app. I think I paid seven or eight dollars I think for it on the app store. I actually really like the app. You can go in and you can actually choose what lens you're using. So the app will actually automatically correct the distortion and stuff for whatever lens that you're using. And then you can actually go in and manually adjust like your uh, white balance and your focus and your shutter speed, your ISO and uh, like your exposure and everything. Almost like a like a DSLR or like a like a actual camcorder instead of it just feeling like it's a like a phone. It's a pretty fun app to use and then you can go into like the settings and turn the stabilization off and there's all these other settings that you can go and set up for it. So I think for seven or eight bucks for a phone app that's pretty worth it for everything that it does and you're able to manually adjust but another thing that you can obviously do with this is you can either record horizontally for like YouTube videos or whatever so if you want to film skate videos or whatever uh, you can do that or you know whatever kind of YouTube channel you got going on you can do that as well or if you even I don't know maybe maybe you even want to make like short films or anything like that you can get you know a handful of different lenses and use your your phone to record that way but if you want to make like instagram or tiktok content um you can record upside down or you know just regular up and down for instagram or tiktok content if you want to use this with the fisheye to record maybe like uh maybe you have a, a fingerboard instagram account or something like that if you want to you know film that kind of stuff and i'll show some examples of that filming filming some fingerboarding like that uh horizontally or vertically with this And what's cool about it too is if you want to film, even like skateboarding if you want to, you can record it upside down and then it makes the, you can make the, the lens extremely low and just get like all the way down to the ground if you wanted to so you can get that real nice like down low up shot of people like riding or whatever. So the overall build on this lens, I, I mean it, personally I haven't actually used a lot of phone lenses like I've used the 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 death lens system like way back in the day and they like thread it onto a phone case as well. This one is definitely a lot cooler and I know there's a lot of different companies out there but for some reason the moment lenses just seem to be built extremely well and they are a little expensive but once you get one you will definitely understand why they are the price that they are because they just have a great build to them I mean they're all aluminum and the glass just seems extremely well made and it just looks really good so I definitely recommend getting a fisheye lens if you like to film action sports for like TikTok or Instagram or anything like that or if you want to just take some fun photos that are fisheye super wide and all that kind of stuff yeah that's all I really have to say about Moment. I think they make some cool products. Definitely a cool company and I think that people should, you know, go check it out. I have a little bit more footage that I recorded um, a few days ago. We went down to uh, Draper, Utah and uh, checked out their aquarium that they have down there and I tried my best to zoom in and get rid of the vignetta on the, the fisheye, but I filmed fish with the fisheye. <laughs> 
So um, there's some pretty cool shots that I got. If you go to like aquariums and stuff like that and you like going and like maybe taking pictures of it or even video, this fisheye lens actually makes it look really cool and you can get like right up against the glass and right up against like the fish and can get some pretty cool up close shots with it. If you want to check out any other products from Moment, you want to check out their other lenses, I'll leave a link to their website in the description. And if you're more of a shopper on Amazon, uh, they also sell their products on Amazon as well. So I'll leave a link to this 14 millimeter T-series fisheye um, on Amazon. Now that link will be an affiliate link. So if you do shop through that link and buy anything, uh, you will be supporting the channel. Another way you can support the channel is by shopping through my eBay store and buying my camcorders. And thank you Moment again for sending this out to me and let me check out your fisheye lens that you just came out with. I highly approve of it. <laughs>